Slow motion videos are always fun to watch, but they are not as easy to film. Phone cameras have been doing slow mos for a while, but it is only now that they have gotten the hang of it. Slow motion video recording is about capturing more frames every second. Most content plays at 24, 30 or 60 frames per second. There are two necessary requirements for effective high FPS slow motion capture. One is chipset support and the second one is DRAM stacked on the camera sensor. In this video, I am going to show you the best phone that supports slow motion video recording. Let's start the video. Huawei P30 Pro Huawei P30 Pro, which is also renowned for its 10x super zoom, can shoot 0.4 seconds of 720p videos at 960fps. The super slow motion video at the maximum settings can be recorded using the primary 40MP sensor. The P30 Pro is the last Huawei flagship to include Google suite of apps. It has curved AMOLED display and it is powered by Kirin 980 octa-core chipset and houses a huge 4200mAh of battery with a super fast charging. If you are not open to big phones, you may also consider the Mate 20 Pro from the last year which is still a relevant option. Links are given in the description, you can buy it from there. Samsung Galaxy S10 series The three phones in the Samsung Galaxy S10 series, the Galaxy S10e, the Galaxy S10 and the Galaxy S10 Plus, all support super slow motion capture at 960fps. There is no surprise as Samsung uses almost the same camera technology as the Note series and the slow motion specs also remain similar. You may shoot 0.4 seconds of 720p at 960fps footage or go for digitally enhanced 0.8 seconds of 720p at 480p fps footage and stretch the playback over 12 or 24 seconds respectively. The rear camera of Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus has a primary sensor of 12MP and a secondary sensor of 12MP which is a telephoto lens and a 16MP of wide-angle lens with an aperture of f2.2. It has got a video capture specs of 2160p at 30 or 60fps, 1080p at 240fps, 720p at 960fps with the support of HDR10+, Gyro electronic image stabilization with optical image stabilization. Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus is one of the best Android phones that we saw in the year 2019 and it is also one of the most practical options to buy in 2020 for shooting slow motion on your phone. Samsung has been prioritizing slow motion videos on its flagship phones for a couple of years and the Note 10 Plus shows noticeable improvements. The phone can shoot 0.4 seconds of 720p at 960fps footage that can play back over 12 seconds or you can go with the 0.8 seconds of 720p at 480fps footage and the software can digitally convert it to 960fps and stretch the playback over 24 seconds. Coming to the camera specification, the rear camera has a primary sensor of 12MP and a secondary sensor of 12MP which is a telephoto lens and a 16MP of wide-angle lens with an aperture of f2.2 with 3D TOF sensor. Sony Xperia 1 Sony has always delivered cutting-edge camera specs on its flagships. Xperia 1, just as its XR series predecessors, can shoot at 960fps. And the good thing is that it can do 1080p videos at 960fps. However, the phone captures only 0.1 second of 1080p footage at 960fps and 0.2 seconds of 720p footage at 960fps that can be stretched to 3.2 seconds and 6.4 seconds of the playback at 30p. Coming to the camera specification, this phone has a triple rear camera of 12MP primary sensor and a 12MP wide-angle lens with an aperture of f2.4 and a 12MP telephoto lens with an aperture of f2.4. So these are the video capturing specs of Sony Xperia 1. Huawei Mate 30 Pro Huawei Mate 30 Pro grabbed headlines for 7680fps slow motion videos but natively it can shoot half second 720p footage at 1920fps and stretch the capture over 32 seconds. This still makes it twice as fast as any phone out there. 
Beside the 4x software interpolated 7680 FPS where it fills the middle frame using AI still looked quite impressive in the launch demo. Too bad that there is no native support for Google Apps which is to say that all its technological advancement wouldn't mean much outside of China. The Mate 30 Pro is powered by Kirin 990 and has a 40MP sensor led quad rear camera setup and a sleek waterfall display. Coming to the camera specification, it has a quad camera setup at the rear with a 40MP of primary sensor with an aperture of f1.6 and a 40MP of secondary sensor which is a wide angle sensor with an aperture of f1.8 and 8MP telephoto sensor and a 3D 2F sensor. These are the video capturing specs of Huawei Mate 30 Pro. So these are the top 5 phones that you must consider to buy in 2020 to shoot the super slow motion videos. If you have any other phone in your mind, please comment in the comment section. Do share this video among your friends. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.